Looking at customer retention percentages is a good indicator of how well your dealership will fare in the future. Find out the magic number you should aim for. We're trying to retain that customer when we sell them the car. And a lot of the manufacturers are starting to talk more about customer retention. So when we sell someone a car, I think in the past it was, hey, we might not see that customer again for four or five years. We didn't, weren't really trying to retain their service business. You know, we just expected that service business was going to come to us. So I think with DME and some other things that we've done, I think we're really trying to, from the sales end, once we sell them a car, in, you know, in conjunction with the service department, to try to figure out a way to, to retain that customer so that down the road when they get ready to look for another car, they'll, you know, they'll buy that car from us. So we look at customer retention percentages in a dealership now. I mean, if you're selling customers cars and you're only retaining 40% of those customers into your service department, I mean, you're not doing a good job.